everyone. You can uh, take your seats. Um, enjoy the last of your lunch or your desserts here. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, it's a momentous day for us. I know it's not an easy place to get to. The parking's kind of a hassle. But it's, uh, worth, it's worth getting to because, first of all, it's a beautiful facility here at the Stanford Faculty Club, but also because we have some, some pretty exciting news. And I am biased, it's true, but I think uh, you'll have to agree when we're finished, it's pretty amazing stuff. And we have some pretty amazing people here with us today. Uh, there's too many great folks here to, to name everyone that's here, but we have people from our ISV partner community. We have um, uh, members of the analyst community, members of the press. We have customers, or what we hope will soon be, customers of Calzada. Uh, and we also have uh, our new partner, uh, HP, here. Uh, we'll be making a few comments from their uh, announcement this morning about the Moonshot Initiative that HP announced this morning and Calzada's role in, in the project Moonshot. It's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, so with that, here's how it's going to play. Uh, I'll introduce my boss. Make sure you give him a big round of applause. It'll help my performance evaluation process a lot. Um, Barry Evans will come up, and he'll talk to you about really the whole concept that started Calzada. It started us on this journey. After that, I'll come back up and help uh, Barry show off our new baby, which is underneath this black veil. And then after that, uh, we've got a quick video to share, share with you, and then we're going to have a panel. To I'll go through some product stuff. Yeah, you no know, free lunch. You're going to have to listen to some, some product stuff, as few PowerPoint slides as possible, I promise. But uh, I want to make sure you leave here with a good understanding about what it is that makes the Calzada offering so different in the marketplace and how it's going to have such a big impact for many of our customers and many data centers around the world. After that, we're going to have a panel discussion. And after that, of course, like any good launch, we will start drinking heavily. All right, sound good? All right, with that, let me introduce our CEO and founder, uh, Barry Evans. Details. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Carl. Calzada is on a mission. Immense is the amount of data that's being generated by companies, uh, consumers, people, and machines. And insatiable is the appetite to find the meaning in all that data, to extrapolate value from it, to store it, search it, sort it, uh, serve it up later, uh, to create something new. But we're stuck. Uh, today, the world can support uh, some odd 50 million servers today in the installed base. And uh, these servers, uh, the installed base has grown a, a few thousand a day. Uh, does that seem like a lot? The, uh, the pace that that installed base is growing is uh, moving as fast as it can, but constrained by uh, the industry's best efforts to build out more space, generate more energy, and remove more heat. It's moving at a slow, constrained, boring, evolutionary pace. And that's the mission that we're on, is to uh, really revolutionize that and free us from the constraints uh, so that pace can accelerate. So imagine a future that's unconstrained by these factors. Uh, imagine 10 times the compute performance. Uh, instead of 50 million servers, a half a billion servers. Pervasive intelligence, pervasive information, business productivity improvements, more scientific breakthroughs, a safer, cleaner IT infrastructure and world. That's the mission that we're on. But you can't get there simply by deploying more servers, faster servers. 10x the infrastructure that would be a half, a half billion servers. That's 10 times the power. 2%. Data centers consume 2% of the world's total capacity to generate energy. So 10x power increase. Uh, can you imagine the uh, United States increasing its total power output by 20% just for data centers? That's, that's unthinkable. 
But there is a technology that could address this problem and, and do the trick. It's in your pocket, it's in your purse, turns itself on and off thousands of times a second to sip power as little as, little as possible. But it's not a server. It doesn't scale, it doesn't have server class performance. There's no notion of how you would manage it. Uh, but uh, th it does have promise, and we've considered the possibilities. A server today will burn 100 watts or more of power. It'll burn up to 80 watts of power while it's waiting for something to do. Servers today wait really, really, really fast. And they burn a ton of power just twiddling their thumbs. Now, there have been some significant improvements in density and power consumption. A lot of the uh, leading server manufacturers are innovating and uh, creating systems that share infrastructure and fans and power supplies. And uh, these, are, these are bringing improvements, but the core problem still remains. We need a breakthrough. Imagine if you could get 10 times the performance density and 10 times the efficiency together. If you could 10 times your compute infrastructure with the same power that you're burning today. If you could scale that infrastructure without limits, without miles of cables, without complexity, without outages and, and network overhead, if you can scale this out and really find a breakthrough in performance density and efficiency, that's what we need. And that's what we're about. That's our mission. We're, we've set out to do just this. Today marks a major milestone for us in this journey that has started uh, several years ago. It's certainly not the destination. We haven't arrived. There's a lot of work ahead of us, uh, a lot of challenges, but we're not in this alone. We have uh, lots of partners that share the same vision that are joining with us and, and uh, in this uh, endeavor and doing a lot of work to create uh, complete solutions to make this possible. And the challenges are a few. And to have something that will make a dent in this, you have to solve all the challenges. You can't just solve one or two. On the TCO side, you need uh, something that can comprehend uh, 10x more compute infrastructure. You have to fundamentally change the economics. You have to be able to do a whole lot more in a much smaller space, much smaller power envelope. And lots and lots of servers, half a billion servers, uh, can you imagine interconnecting those? You have to fundamentally change how you think about clustering and networking. You can't have lots of interconnections that uh, all cable together and, and create a lot of network overhead, network latency, and cost. And it, and it boggles the mind to think about how would you manage that much infrastructure? How would you make it dependable and reliable and responsive? That's a huge challenge. So we've tackled this, and we, we've uh, approached this from a holistic perspective, looking at uh, from a cluster into a single node, and architected a solution that, that does three things. It fundamentally rethinks uh, the balance between performance uh, optimize, uh, performance and power optimized design. Uh, we've invented some uh, scaling technologies that allow you to interconnect thousands and thousands of nodes all in a single fabric at uh, very low uh, cost, very low power, and, and very low overhead. And finally, we've created an organic management mechanism that allows you to actually manage uh, these clusters uh, from uh, the cluster level of thousands of nodes all the way down to a single node, uh, all comprehending the big picture. So initially, we see uh, this suitable for a handful of workloads. These workloads are characterized as uh, being oriented towards uh, high throughput and, and scale out for performance. Offline analytics, big data, Hadoop uh, is a good example. Web applications, web tier, 
uh, mid-tier applications such as uh, memcached and in-memory databases and, and storage-oriented applications such as file serving and, and content delivery. And we absolutely see adding to this list over time. Now I'll bring Carl back up to tell us uh, how we can achieve these great grand claims of five watts for a server, and that's, that's five watts all in with memory, not uh, 160 watts or 80 watts or 20 watts for a chip, but uh, five watts for a complete server. The whole deal. That's right. The whole deal. 